What's up guys, this is KDK Kill Daikin, and yes, we're back again with the brand new UE2 X1 single board computer. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly set up your touchscreen monitor uh, because I had a friendly conversation with Pi Maniac. If you guys are familiar with who he is, uh, we were wondering if three displays would actually work. And of course, this part of the video is being recorded much after the fact. And so we were wondering if touchscreen gaming would work. My original thoughts were is that if we did hook up three, uh, three screens, maybe one of the connectors would also disconnect and then you would only have two. However, that is not the case. We do have three monitors fully set up, uh, fully set up for gaming. As you can see, touchscreen gaming will also work as well. If you guys didn't know, this is my favorite SBC. I mean, I love this thing. It's, it really has no flaws to it. I absolutely love it. But at any rate, uh, this will be a tutorial to show you how to set up your additional touchscreen seven inch uh, touch monitor, as well as have three screens running. Now we are using the MIPI display. This has a mini HDMI connection and also the standard HDMI with the UE2 X1 single board computer. This thing is a gaming beast. It is all around perfect for any type of minimal scenarios that you guys need it for. I know it's made for industrial use, but you guys will absolutely love this fantastic device. Pricing starts at $109. And again, they did send off this product, uh, send out this product to me for review uh, several weeks ago. Been working on it, testing as much as I possibly could. So let's go ahead and get into it. You know what time it is. All right, so before I fully get into this review, I did reach out to the company and uh, suggest that they update the BIOS uh, for the newer models prior to sending this out. In order to get this up and running, you will need two files in order to get this uh, fully compatible, but hopefully the future models will already have the additional or new BIOS set up for the touchscreen so you guys don't have to go ahead and do uh, any of this. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and connect our UE2X1 to the LCD monitor. Uh, in my particular box, because the company did send this over for review, it came included with two ribbon cables. And so I'm not exactly sure which cable uh, set that you guys will get uh, when you get yours, but typically you wanna use the thicker of the two cables. I know it could be a little bit confusing, but there are two cables that come uh, with your LCD monitor. And again, you wanna make sure that you use the thicker of the two ribbon cables and hook that up to your UE2 uh, X1. Um, I had that made that mistake myself and so I had to make some readjustments prior to editing this video and make sure I plug it into the right slot. All right, so if you are looking at the back of your seven inch LCD monitor, you'll notice they'll say uh, they'll have a UE2 logo on the back. That is the ribbon cable port you want to use and at the very top, of the LCD monitor. There's like this little brown connection or there's like a, it's wrapped in plastic. Uh, you don't wanna use that particular cable or that ribbon cable port. You wanna use the one that's at the bottom or at the top, depending upon how you have this vert, uh, diverted, where there is also some pin connectors. That's the port that you wanna use. I'm just trying to be specific here and showing you how to get this up and installed and running. So that is the port that you wanna use for your ribbon cable. Once you go ahead and put that in, you want to also find the port or the ribbon cable, uh, the MIPI connector, I'm sorry, on your bottom of your UE2X1 single board computer. That is the port we would be using with that. And once you go ahead and have that plugged in successfully, we will now get the BIOS converted and updated uh, and installed to make sure that your LCD screen is running correctly. All right, so now that we're back on the computer, uh, you wanna make sure that you download the UE2 files. Uh, they're called the BIOS.zip. Now, if you guys have watched my previous video, I did a video showing you how to re-image your X1 uh, single board computer. Uh, I've already provided a download link for that, but you can go to the X1 website or their wiki page and download these drivers. However, if you go back to my previous video showing you how to re-image it, you guys could click on the Google link there and it'll give you all the files that you need to successfully 
uh, set this portion up. And in this particular file, you're gonna have a number of different uh, files to choose from. And the one that you wanna select is gonna say X101S8 Digital Mic. And that is the BIOS that you will be using to convert and get this uh, LCD screen working correctly. Now, however, there are two different setup methods for this. If you don't do the first one correctly, uh, the LCD screen will work. However, if you don't fully do the install correctly, uh, you won't be able to use the touchscreen part, part of it, even though you will be able to see the full function of the LCD screen work. So we're gonna go ahead and select X101S8 digital mic. There is another option for analog mic. We don't wanna select that one. That will allow you to use the mic that's on the bottom. And then of course, what we wanna do is go ahead and rename this file to bios.bin and make sure that we move this file over to the BIOS integration so we can go ahead and get this booted up on your X1. We're gonna go ahead and type in bios.bin. And then of course, we're gonna save this file and then move it over to the boot partition. Now, before we go any further, we're gonna take a quick look at the BIOS. This is the original BIOS that comes included with the X1. And so typically the X1 does not boot from the flash drive. However, when you write the bin file, the BIOS file uh, directly to a USB drive, it will boot. Now keep in mind, you cannot write this to the SD card for the X1 because you cannot boot at all on the SD card slot. You can only boot this particular BIOS file directly from a USB flash drive. Once you write the file to the flash drive, you can boot uh, the BIOS or the new BIOS to the X1 single board computer. Plug the flash drive into your X1. It will boot up automatically. This will take several minutes. You'll be able to see all the config text and everything that is currently being updated. Again, this will probably take about another five or 10 minutes. Wait for the process to end and it will conclude successfully. However, if it shows up when you get ready to reboot your X1 uh, single board computer if it says Intel you've done it incorrectly you've selected the wrong file you've done it incorrectly but however if you do it correctly it should then reboot up say UE2 X1 single board computer on the splash logo screen and you should be good to go All right, and once that is finished, you are now all set to fully use your single board computer with your seven inch touchscreen display. It's pretty simple, it's pretty fast, uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, this did take me a little while because I know all the instructions that were originally in Chinese. So again, I had to just kind of follow my own method by applying the BIOS update and kind of just walking myself through it. I did this a couple of times through troubleshooting, but uh, this is a great upgrade, it is fun, and it is good for gaming. So. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I will have some additional updates into the brand new acrylic case that I bought for the X1 uh, single board computer. And again, with, as always, thank you guys for liking, thank you for subscribing and, continue to, to, and continuing to support this channel. I'll have more updates regarding the UE2 X1 single board computer. I can't wait to get through all of these. It's been a really fun process. I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.